have to leave basketball before the season is over. See, I'll start with you. How devastating is Kevin Durant's injury? Oh, it's an awful injury. It's an awful injury. And any time you see an elite athlete, because um, injuries are a part of sport, but they're the thing as far as a career that an athlete is the variable they don't have control over. That, where they're going to play, most of the time they don't have control over those things. Kevin Durant tried. He tried to give it the type of effort, and typically in sports, as an athlete, you feel the pressure, the pressure to compete. You feel the pressure not let your teammates down. And also, you feel the pressure of greatness. And that is, even though I might not be 100%, I'm going to try it. And that's where great performances, that's where we get them from. With a decision just like last night. The medical staff, they said he was cleared to play. Kevin Durant and his teammates needed him. So Kevin Durant tried to put himself out there. But for every athlete who was watching that last night, I hope they learned one thing from it. And that's listen to your body. Because your body won't lie to you. You can only listen to the doctor so far. You can only listen to the training staff, listen to the coaches, and you definitely can't listen to your teammates. Because if you listen to them, they're not filling your body and they'll have you out there playing. That's why any type of teammates that I have, I never encourage playing. That's why any type of teammates that I have, I never encourage guys. If they were injured, man, I tell them, know your body, man. Know your body. Whatever's going to happen after you're supposed to be out there, you'll be out there. Now, once you're in the game and someone gets dinged or injured during the game, that's different. Then you try to tell the guy to suck it up, man. We need you. We'd like to have you out there. But this is totally different. And this was a prime example of a guy ignoring the signs of his body, gave him the warning signs. He ran through those a couple days ago before uh, Friday's game. He worked out. Jalen Rose said it. I saw he had a private workout. It didn't go well. His body gave him a warning. And now so it's amazing that the doctors, because they're down three to one, then they cleared him before game five. It's amazing how doctors and the timing of games and season, how you get cleared. NFL guy blows out his knee. When's he get cleared? Cleared uh, about Labor Day. That's when the season's getting ready to start. So for me, unfortunate for Kevin Durant. I do understand what he was trying to go through because the bond that you have with your teammates that I will push myself beyond what I can do for each other, that's why we play sports. And last night, Kevin Durant didn't get a fair share for what he tried to accomplish in the pressure of trying to get back out there in an NBA Finals. Oh, man, I can understand. Two-time defending MVP, absolutely. Still trying to fight for respect. At this point in his life, still trying to fight for respect. That's why Kevin Durant was out there last night in his life. Still trying to fight for respect. That's why Kevin Durant was out there last night. I've always loved Kevin Durant as a basketball player. And last night, he earned even more respect because he jeopardized his whole career for them guys. And the worst, the worst injury a basketball player can suffer is a torn Achilles. And now he either has a torn Achilles 